Welcome to our tutorial on the membrane switch module with the Arduino Mega 2560 or 3. Today, we're going to explore everything you need to know to set up and use this module in your Arduino projects. But before we begin, let's talk about some applications of this versatile module. First, let's understand what a membrane switch module is. It's a versatile component that's used in various everyday devices, like microwaves, cell phones, and more, to provide user input. Imagine adding this functionality to your projects. For this project, you'll need an Arduino Mega 2560 or 3, a membrane switch module, and 8 male to male jumper wires. Now, let's connect the membrane switch module to the Arduino. We'll connect pins to digital output pins D9 to D2, as shown in the wiring diagram. I'll break down the connection step by step. 1. Connect the first pin of the keypad to D9. 2. Connect the second pin to D8. 3. Connect the third pin to D7. 4. Connect the fourth pin to D6. 5. Connect the fifth pin to D5. 6. Connect the sixth pin to D4. 7. Connect the seventh pin to D3. 8. Connect the eighth pin to D2. 8. Now, let's jump into the code. Open the Lesson 11 Membrane Switch Module code from the provided folder. But before we proceed, ensure you have the keypad library installed. Libraries are collections of code that make it easy for you to connect to various components like sensors, displays, and modules. To add a library, you need to install it. 1. Using the Library Manager, go to Sketch Include Library Manage Libraries in the Arduino IDE. 2. Select the library you want to install, like the keypad library. 3. Click Install and wait for it to finish. Uploading and in running the code. Upload the code to your Arduino Mega 2560R3. If you encounter any errors, remember to check if you've installed the keypad library properly. Once you've uploaded the code, you can monitor the key presses using the Arduino Serial Monitor. Open the Serial Monitor by clicking the Serial Monitor icon. Select the correct COM port by going to Tools Serial Port. Set the baud rate to match the code, usually 9600 baud. You can choose whether to enable auto scrolling by checking the box in the bottom left corner. Congratulations, you've successfully set up the membrane switch module with your Arduino Mega 2560R3. The possibilities are endless with this versatile component. That's it for today's tutorial. We've covered the basics from setting up the hardware and using the serial monitor. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more Arduino tutorials. Don't forget to leave any questions or comments below, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and happy tinkering!